for a bit of a dive here inside. Oh, he's crowded. There's no back oh, there's yet. No this could be bad. He's under tower. Universe dropping low. He's got a south. He can't get it off. Oh, Universe. Radiant bottom it's so rare to see him ever give up an early kill. Not impossible for TA without help, so I'm not surprised to see that. The top lane, I guess. There's a lift on side. The stun is going to come through for Fenrir. He's got Burrow and the Prophet ult. It's too much. Zai can't get away. They'll line up, I just don't think they have, Stampede. they have Stampede, and Mason's gonna go in, but he gets shackled! He pops the Stampede, RTK will. They stun Mason, but already it's one on the board for EG, and they look for more. They might find the trade here with FY. Driven back, and killed off! It's two for nil so far. Very important for EG to get on the board here. Do they find more? Backing back in, yes, and now Fender is in trouble. He can get off the stun, but Universe has a surge. There's no getting away! Something on the board here is, is absolutely crucial. And with that tower down, the entire jungle that we've talked so much about is very vulnerable. Easy. No bottom lane, they're gonna go in now. They found Arteezy. Can they burst him in time? Just barely pulling it off. He went Mason, does have a split ready. But remember, that's their, there's the instant Orchid silence. They might need Zai to set up the initiation here. And they will go for that. It's a Burrow and RTK. But the Sensor's not an easy kill until this. He gets shackled, pulled back in by a vacuum. Arteezy though, he's isolated. RTK will pop Stampede, tries to retreat, and the split comes out. Now they cycle on the Razor, and they try to focus someone down. But everyone's healthy on BT, and they're not getting kills with the split until the Epi. Zai jumping in, looking for Super, but it's not enough. The mech turns it, keeps him alive. Universe force retreat and now Arteezy's on an island. He can't get out. ROTK crushes him with a double edge. And they keep on pushing it now. The I'm Brewmaster split up full down. But this could be 12 minute racks. I don't think they, they has anything the left in the tank. They had a 15 Dias minute GG against Dias DK Dias in the group stage and Vici Gaming. They're looking at a similar level of timing for this first lane of Rack. And have they stole the split? Oh, they have! Oh no! They stole the split! This is unbearable at this point. FY though doesn't have mana for it! He actually used another spell! He's short on it by about 10! Can they turn this on the back of that? They try to chase, but they lose the brew. They lose PPD, and Super's just terrorizing them. FY caught out, can split! He needs to do it quick, and now you go! On the universe! They'll stun him, they'll kill him! And they look for their first lane of Rack. EG are getting absolutely demolished. This might be the quickest game one of the main event at the rate we're headed. Their damage is almost entirely magical as Vici take the last tier two and they go on mid. They look for Arteezy, they'll lift him and drop him and they've got traps stolen. But I don't know if they need them here. They'll stampede and they'll surround Arteezy. He hasn't even gotten to use the Midas and he won't get to it all. He dies right after the delivery. He's got 10k net worth. The enemy Dark Seer is the lead for him. Oh, he does have a split, but if he's more close, he can't. He gets on, so the stun's actually gonna miss, but it won't matter. Mason's done for. No buyback. The good news for Mason is he's only dead for 25, but that might be long enough for Vici to end this. The Courier comes top with the Necro 3, oh, actually with a Medallion, and they're just going for the high ground now. Super, pop in the ultimate, we'll just begin to right click the Rage Rex, this is a guaranteed Rex down. Nothing there won't be any reason to keep it alive. Racks. And EG, they still look for the ultimate, they do have a single point in wall, but now the, now the pipe's out again, and they Dyer's just can't go into racks. it. They're waiting for that pipe to be down, but while EG are waiting, Beach turning the game, and GG! Beachy wipe the floor. I don't think there's any other way to say it with EG in game number one. Yeah. This is just Beachy showing why they can use the, the group stage at the top. That's what we saw from Beachy in the group stage. These 15 minute games, extreme aggression with their supports early on. Perfect laning, perfect rotation.